that, that's what he's talking about. He's not saying that you didn't fulfill the law. That he put in the Ask him to quote the verse where he says, because you did not fulfill the law, I do not know you. He cannot because he's lying. So he keeps lying. Now he keeps going back to the Old Testament, to the Deuteronomy and say, oh, they were prostituting, they were forced, they were there. None of the text says anything about that. We have gone over it three or four times. He keeps going back, trying to force it into the into the Bible. It's not in there. Whereas it's clearly in the Quran. It just says, you know, if they're married. Now he's even said that Bible says even if they're married, you can have sex with them. It does not say that. It says take them as your wife. It doesn't say take them as your slave. It doesn't say that. And if they were taken as wife after one month of mourning, that becomes a real wife. It's not like if you're a slave, you don't have to give them one month to mourn or any time to mourn with the head shaven and everything to fulfill the, all the all the traditions and everything. He, he is allowing for all that. That's the God of the Bible. It has nothing to do with the God of Islam. The God of Islam says, no, that woman that you took, you can have sex with her. Doesn't matter if she has her husband is alive or not. That's the way it is. What time is it? Okay. So it's a misquote again of uh, the Bible when uh, it's going back to Jesus saying that Jesus is telling, saying, I free you from the. Yes, he said, I fulfill the law. It is finished on the cross. He said, it is finished. He has done what was needed to be done because if he knows the proper, he, he takes one verse. He said, go to verse four, go to verse four. I read from one to four. It's on camera. Okay. All right. So now if I come to the point, if I come to the point, I'm also going soon. How many if minutes? I come to the point, two minutes. If I come to the point where he said Jesus, the people, according to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21 to 23, he said those are false Christians. The verse, according to the verse itself, the context, it's not about they were false Christians. Jesus, the reason he blamed them is not because they were false Christians and he never mentioned, he never said you are okay, false followers. Again, give me the verse again. He said, get away from me, you evil okay, doers. So inequity. It's okay. and breaking the law. The reason okay, what's he... The, what's the quote? Chapter 21. Oh, and what? chapter... Oh, Matthew uh, chapter 7, chapter verse 7. 21 okay. to 23. So now what I'm saying is, Christians always say this verse is about false Christians. But according to the context, it does not mention false Christians mention false Christians. It's about the Christians who believe Jesus as their Lord, but it's not a capital L. But they put us as a capital as a capital L, but we don't do that. Anyways, whatever. But Jesus, the reason he blamed them and he say he will say to them, depart away from me, you evil doers. Because of what? Breaking the law. So if Jesus came to fulfill and free Christians from the law, why in judgment day Jesus will deny Christians because of their evil deeds and breaking the law. If they don't have if they don't have law, that means they can marry ten wives. So they believe, so you see they use double faced here. They say the Bible says you cannot marry more than one wife because why? The law says that. And now he said Jesus came to free us from the law. If Jesus came to free them from the law, why would they still practice you cannot marry more than one wife according to their logic? That means Jesus is going to blame them because of breaking the law. And Matthew chapter 15 verse 4, Jesus ordered children to be killed any child who cast their pa okay. his parents. Alright, now I'm going to go to the last point first. Because in the Old Testament, it was not one woman you could divorce. In the New Testament, Jesus said, I did that in the Old Testament. It's not the law anymore. So he's lying again. The Christian law is you get married and that's the way it is with one woman. It does not follow the the Old Testament was not one woman you can divorce and get another woman. So he's misquoting again. I don't know why he keeps doing that. It's, a, it's on camera. People have read You can Google everything that he's talking about. Now he says in uh, chapter... Time for you, yeah? Okay, time it, yeah. Okay, so he says in Matthew chapter 27, verse 21. I'm going to read... No, chapter 7. Chapter 7, verse 21. The be doers of the word. Not everyone uh, that I'm gonna read like from 21 to 29 real quick because I want to show his expose his uh, misquote again. Okay, there we go. Okay, and now uh, not everyone who said uh, to me, Lord, Lord shall uh, enter into the kingdom of heaven. Um, to the do, but who, those who do it. Uh, the will of thy father which is in heaven. Okay, the will of the father. He's quoting that as the law. 
The will of the Father is explained in the Bible as believing in Jesus. That's the will of the Father. Ask Him, show me, I'm going to ask you right now, show me where the will of the Father is the commandment, fulfillment of the commandment. It's not. This is a lie. So that's lie number one. That is not the will of the Father. Okay, many will say all this. So because they did not fulfill the, the will of the Father, which was to believe in Jesus, because the Jews, he's talking to Jews, because the Jews are not, if they don't believe in him, and it goes on to give you the, if I read the whole passage, I'm going to read five verses, right, real quick. But when um, many will say unto me on the day, Lord, Lord, here um, have we not uh, prophesied in thy name, and in the came, uh, and then uh, and I will have cast out yeah, yeah, yeah. devils uh, right and uh, in, devils and in, in thy, name thy name done many wonderful works yes. and uh, then will I uh, my eyes are not so yeah, good I can read it's very the small uh, print. and then and then will I will profess, they will profess unto, unto them, them I never knew you, you depart, depart from, me, from me ye that work iniquity yes. therefore whoever heareth these say uh, saying of mine and do do it them I will liken him unto a wise man. So what he's saying now, he gives the wise man. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The rock in Bible is Jesus. He's the cornerstone. That means that if your faith is built on Jesus, then you will be saved. He's talking about salvation here. He's saying the wise man built his house upon the rock. So that this whole passage is about faith in Jesus. It has nothing to do with fulfilling the law. I asked him again, where does the will of God means the law? Time. Okay. So now again, I'm just repeating the same thing. Even now, Christians believe Jesus practiced. Jesus is a Jew man, and he practiced Judaism. And the law of Jesus is Torah. The law of Jesus is not New Testament, and there's no law in New Testament, anyways. And now I'm challenging any Christians. They are double-faced. Some Christians. So they say. It's got nothing to do with us Torah, so you can ask us about the New Testament. So my challenge to Christians, I want where it says in the New Testament, you cannot have sex and, and, and slaves and women, captives women, and you cannot have sex with them. There's no way it says in the New Testament. I challenge any Christian to show me a psalm. I'm challenging you to show Did me. Did you take because my challenge? Did you, you said, show me no, wait, where, where that means will of God no, means the Ten Commandments? Show no, me. Wait, show me I'm the coming. will of God is the commandments. Show me. Now what I'm saying is. That was my challenge. My challenge. Christians always say the Old Testament has got nothing to do with us. But when they refute Muslims, they quote from Old Testament refuting Muslims. But when we refute them by quoting from Old Testament, they say it's got nothing to do with us. See? They've been biased. They're using two faces there. So now what I'm asking is, the Did reason Jesus is going to ignore them... Yeah, I time Four okay. minutes. It says okay, four minutes. Three and a half minutes. Yeah. Okay. So the reason Jesus will deny them is because of breaking the law and doing good and evil deeds. So that means Jesus never came to you guys to free from the law. Otherwise, Jesus, you wouldn't believe to marry more than one wife. It's against the law. What law is that? It's the New Testament. That's what you believe. Okay, you so do not tell me Jesus came to free you four from minutes, the law. Four minutes. Okay. okay you got four I'm minutes. I'm not repeating this time. Okay. okay you got four speak. minutes. Can now, you, can it was you as two minutes okay. and then I carried on. Uh, come on. I'm yeah. not lying. I'm fasting. No, no, no. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> yeah. If I say, well, it's not two minutes. I'm not okay, lying. Okay, I'll have three minutes. Okay. okay. But I'm so saying start, I didn't stop you. Start three minutes now. Okay. So we can start. Okay. Wow. set. Yeah, okay. okay, start. Okay, now I got three minutes. So first of all, he's talking about show me in the New Testament where uh, Jesus is saying that you have to marry one woman, not more, and this and that. I'll give you the words. No, I'm not talking about that. What are you talking about? I'm talking about, I'm cha my challenge to you is, I was proving your point in as an invalid because you said, Okay, you, you, you said, talking, yeah, so we're, stop we're for you. Stop yeah, that, yeah. for you. Okay. Because you said Jesus came to us to free, to, he came to free, to free, uh, uh, to okay, free from law, yeah. us from the law. Yeah. So if you believe that, why would you still practice and uh, that and believe that uh, and polygamy is prohibited when you believe Jesus came to free you from the law, okay, which fine. means you can do whatever so you want. So you're saying Jesus allowed for polygamy? 
No, I'm saying if Jesus, according to you, yeah. if Jesus came yeah. to free you Christians from yeah. the law, yeah. which means one of the law of Jesus, uh, according to you, of the laws is that you cannot marry more than one wife. No, no, no. This is the New Testament. Are you getting law. the point, first of all? No, no. I'm, I'm following you. you know, I'm trying to follow you. No. You're saying the new law that Jesus gave is that you have only one wife. No. Previously, they had more wives. But you said Jesus came to you Christians to free, free you from, from the, the law. old law. From old the old law. law. Old law. Old law. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Now, now I'm going to continue. Okay. okay. Karan, I'll come right. to now that stop, point. Start it again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Continue. So, start. Okay. Resume. Yeah, okay. Start it. Okay. Talk. Okay. So here is the worst. So let me find the. <laughs> uh, okay. So here is the worst. The thing is, he's saying that I said that Jesus came to free us from the Old Testament law. That's right. He did come to free us from the Jewish law. However, when it comes to the question of marriage, he said in the old days, we allowed for God allowed for the hardness of your heart. God allowed you to divorce. But I say unto you, because Jesus came and said a lot of things that I say from his authority, meaning he is God. That is why Jesus can only God can make these laws because these are the laws of God. So if Jesus is making this law, that means he's God. So he's saying this in Matthew 5, 20, 31 and 32. It says, uh, it was also said, whoever divorces his wife, except on the grounds of uh, sexual immorality, makes her an adulteress. Whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. This is the law for which Jesus is talking that this is what Christianity is. It's not like in the old days where Jews were marrying and divorcing, marrying and divorcing, just like Islam. Islam came and did exactly what Jews were doing. So that's what he's absolutely wrong, which I, I'm proving this, the Bible proves the, uh, in the gospel, he has his own law. Now, the law of Jesus, they came and asked him, what is the biggest law? Well, they asked Jesus directly this question because of the law. They said, what is the biggest law? He said, the biggest law is love your God with all your might, with all your power, with all your mind. And also the second commandment like it is love your neighbor. Those are the, and that, and then he said that fulfills all of the law. That means that all the laws that Jews had would be fulfilled by one law. If you love God and love your neighbor, you will not commit a, yeah, but you, you said three minutes, right? Three minutes. Okay, you okay, so I got one minute. So that means that uh, you have fulfilled uh, all of the laws if you fulfill, and it's very, that's why it's so beautiful to follow Jesus. It's easy to follow Jesus. You don't have to take the first step into the toilet or do this or do that. He didn't come to give you that. He came to give you a moral law. He said, if you have moral law, that will take over everything. The law, moral law is love your neighbor, love God. If you love somebody, you won't kill them. If you love somebody, you won't lie to them. You won't steal from them. That covers all the laws of the Old Testament. That's the law of Christianity. Nothing else. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Set. Okay, number one, uh, my challenge to him is, he said Jesus came to free us from the Old Testament law. I want a verse exactly where Jesus said that, number one. Number two, he criticized the God of Old Testament, which means he's criticizing also his God by saying the, the law of Jews was, the Jews was wrong by practicing captives women and sex slavery. Same, he said, as Muslims also, we practice captives women also. So basically, according to him, he's trying to say the Old Testament God, the God of Old Testament and the God of New Testament is different because he said the God of Old Testament is wrong. And that means, according to him, the God of New Testament is right. And now he's saying again, as I said, I repeat again, Jesus, until now, Christians, priests, all yeah, of them is scholars. Minutes. Yeah. How many minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Yeah. Go. They believe Jesus practiced Judaism and he was a Jew man. Until now, Jesus, Paul said today, yesterday and tomorrow, Jesus is the same, which means Jesus also now, he worships God the Father and he practiced the law of Jew and Jews. He does not practice the law of Christianity. So now I'm asking my challenge, where did Jesus say, I came to free you from Old Testament? Exactly, word by word. Nowhere, there's nowhere Jesus said that. But Jesus said, I have not come to abolish the law of Moses, which means he came to practice the law of Moses. Opposite of abolish is what? Practice. You cannot when, and destroy the law of Moses 
and say to me, I have not, I have not come to abolish the law of Moses. When you also, Jesus also himself practiced the law of Moses. Until now he practiced that law. Until I never finished it. So now, my challenge, my questions. Show me in the New Testament where Jesus said exactly word by word, I have come to free you from the Old Testament. And so, also, you criticize God of the Old Testament, which means you also criticize in your God, and you believe you have the same God as them. Okay, so you asked two questions. So, first of all, uh, Matthew 5, verse 20, 17 to 20. Do you I'm think that I have come to abolish the law or, or the prophets? I have come to abolish them. I've not, I've not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly, okay. So Jesus is saying, I'm fulfilling them, because if you read the whole Bible, I'm not going to stand here in two minutes and read you the whole Bible. That's not what I'm... Jesus is saying that I've come to fulfill the law because nobody has fulfilled the law. Okay, because it's not possible to fulfill the law. The law was built, was made to show you your sin. Because you cannot come to God with any sin. Law is there to show you that all are sinners. That's the point. Except for Jesus. He's sinless. Even in Quran, he says he's sinless. Okay, what was your second question? No, you didn't answer my okay, question. Okay, okay, fine. I ask you, show me from no, the no, New Testament. In the Old Testament, you are saying the God of Old Testament was let wrong. Pause it. Let me pause it for you. I'll pause it. I'll pause it for you. Don't okay, worry. Okay, go ahead. My question to you is, show me in the New Testament where Jesus said, I have come to free you from the Old Testament law. Okay. Do you have it? Yeah, I got it. Show me where okay. it says that. All right. He's asking me to show him the words. I'm showing him this words because he came to fulfill the law because he said the law never saved anyone. That, I don't have the exact quote, but it is in the okay. Bible. I don't have the exact quote, but it says okay. no one has fulfilled the law. The law is there. I'm, I'm answering that question. These are, I don't have the quote exactly because you gave me two minutes and you want me to find all the quotes. It's in in okay. Christianity, I'll give no, you no, five minutes. One minute, I I'll Google give you five everything. minutes. No, no, no. I want a verse, clear cut verse where Jesus okay, said, listen, I have listen, come to I, I free you my, from I, I Old Testament law. No. I have two minutes. No, no, no. I, we have been going no, on for a while. Will, I'll give you five minutes, ten I, minutes. Sam, Sam. Ten minutes. Sam, we just started the conversation. We okay. already have the conversation. Okay. I'm not here to, to give you this verse, give me that verse. Where is this? Where is that? I'm telling you, this is in the Bible. Now that you're saying the I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm answering his question. I can answer it the way. If you don't like, here's the thing. In Christianity, we are not supposed to half, half is the, the, the Bible to each word. We are there to learn the message of the Bible. No, we Jesus Christians, we follow the message here. of Jesus. We don't have to know each and every word. No, 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 so because he's talking. Everybody's talking. So you got to give me two minutes. Okay, I'll give you one more minute. Yeah, please. give me the minute. Okay, so that's all I'm saying. In, in, the, in Christianity, it's not about, you know, we can, I can find you. What I'm saying is in the Bible, because Jesus said, I came to fulfill the law because nobody has fulfilled the law. The law was not there to help you to get to heaven. The law was to show you that you are a sinner and you cannot get to heaven. The only way you can get to heaven is through Jesus' blood. That's it. And then he said, what is the biggest commandment? He said, love your God and love your neighbor. So this is the law of the New Testament. Okay? Has nothing to... So if he gives this law, that means that all... And it says in that law, it says this fulfills all the other laws. So that is your verse, that quote uh, that I just gave you. Let me pause it. You said you... Give me one minute. No, I'll give you, but I'm asking you, you said okay, something fine, wrong yeah. here. Well, okay, you well. said the law of Old Testament is love God and love your neighbor, yes? No, no, New Testament. New Testament. New Testament. Did Jesus quote from Old Testament or New or Old Testament or New, uh, that he said for by his own? When he said Jesus, love 